What is going on LEGO investors? So today we're going to go over the hard to find sets on lego.com. So a subscriber asked that I go over the sets and I'm just going to go over really quick my thoughts and opinions, maybe if I'm going to buy them, avoid them, and maybe I might give some price analysis. I'm not going to do a full in-depth detail, but yeah, I just, I thought that was great that they asked, so let's go over it. So first up, we've got R2-D2. So this set I thought was absolutely great, but now with the new smaller R2-D2 with the awesome minifigure, I am absolutely avoiding this R2-D2. And is it the hard to find? I do not think so. My target has had these for like two years in stock all the time. And that's what I kind of don't like about LEGO. LEGO, they tend to throw a lot of sets in their groupings. And I, I think they might just be lies, and I think it might be incentive to try and encourage people to buy because it might be harder to find, but I have had no issues finding this set at all. So definitely going to avoid that. Viking Village, I'm not sure if this is quite hard to find. I've seen it a few times. It's fairly new, but will I be investing in this set? Absolutely. I definitely think this will probably be like $180 to $200 set. The Viking theme is really, really great. If you haven't seen my video on the Viking theme, it's it's a theme that is just like flies under the radar, but has a history of doing really, really well. So absolutely, I'm going to invest in this set. Definitely. The Super Mario 64 question mark block. Is this a hard to find a set? This was set was in target forever. I had no issues finding it. And no, I'm not going to invest in this set. I think it's probably a bad investment. It's unique and great, but... I don't think when it comes time in retirement, people are going to pay a premium for this set. So definitely avoiding this. The typewriter was in stock at Target, a majority of my targets for a very long time. Now it's kind of gone out of stock. So yeah, this might be hard to find. But for a price tag of $250, I think it's a great and unique piece, an awesome display piece. But I probably won't be investing in it until it hits like a massive sale. And it would have to be probably like $160 to maybe $180. I'll have to see more closer to retirement, but overall, I'll probably avoid this set. And and just an FYI, for a lot of these that I'm going over, I'm not going over the retirement date. I'm just going over whether I invest in them or not, and it's all dependent on when they retire. Some could be this year, some could be next, so I just want to make that clear. So Jazz Club, absolutely, this one has been hard to find. It's not really been in stock. It's only been really available at the Lego store in my area. I definitely will invest in this set. I think it's 220s at, or 230s an okay price. I wish it was 200, but modulars have a awesome investment history. I could definitely see this selling for 280, 300, maybe two to three years down the line. The Porsche 911. I'm gonna avoid this set. I'm not a really big fan of it. I don't think it's really gonna do very well. Although I I do know a lot of people do love the larger vehicles, but overall I'm gonna pass on this set. The Atari 2600, I'm going to avoid this. This set has been on sale quite a bit, and I just don't really see the demand for it. Maybe five years down the line, you might be able to pull in a decent profit, but overall, definitely passing this. The The Van Gogh Starry Night, this set, I don't know if I want to say it should be on the hard-to-find list. This was in stock at Walmart forever last year, and it had awesome sales, and I really wish I had the spare money because I would have bought a ton of these. I absolutely love this set. I think this will set will be like a $250 to $300 set in retirement down the line. I think this is probably one of LEGO's top 10 LEGO sets. And we are getting a bunch more painting sets, so this one goes along with it. And I think it just was done amazing. I love this set, so I'm definitely going to invest in this. And then the Moss Eisley Cantina, yeah, it has been hard to find, so that is a little accurate. For $3.99, I'm probably not going to buy it at that price. I might buy one if it does not go on a sale, but overall, I'd like to pick it up for $3.50. I think this is probably a, you know, this might be a $500 set down the line, but I have really big fears that LEGO would break out this set individually in the future, but this is just a phenomenal set. I really need it to go on sale, but overall, I will invest at least one. But if we get a big enough sale, I might invest in a couple. The motorized lighthouse, this is awesome. You know, you can use this in city building, but I'll probably pass it. I don't I don't like the premium sets that are motorized and light up and, you know, talking. That just adds too much of a premium on it, so I'm going to avoid this set. I don't see a lot of profit in the future. The Hogwarts Icons Collection Edition, this set has been in stock at Barnes & Noble forever, so I don't know why it's on the hard-to-find list. But overall, this set is phenomenal. I think it's truly amazing, and I think 
once they create a Fox version of this, this will it will help this price. But I need to get it on a discount at 300. I don't see people paying beyond 300 for this set. You know, you might be able to pull 350, but it's just too much of an investment. If it went on a massive sale, then yeah, I'd pick it up. But overall, I'm gonna pass this set. The mini Disney Castle, definitely passing this set. There, I do not like investing in really a whole lot of anything Disney because they are going broke. Their movies are doing terrible, and they're just this is a way for them to get money so they'll always create Disney castles and you'll just see repeats of sets over and over again the Little Mermaid Royal Clamshell this set is a horrible horrible set it is in it's been in stock at Target It is not hard to find I think they're throwing it on this list to give it some benefit but this set just due to the new movie I do not like touching controversial sets it, it you will lose money with this set in my opinion the A-Frame Cabin, uh, it's a little too expensive for me. I know a lot of people like this set, but at 180, I'm passing. I would need to pick this up for like 130. I don't see this going for a massive premium, so I would pass on this set. The Lego Ideas Home Alone set for 300. Uh, is it hard to find? It can be. I know some stores just have them in stock all the time. I absolutely love this set because one, it could be used in town building because everyone wants a mansion, but Home Alone is just iconic. But this one just will not go away. I think it's been out for too long. I needed to get it on a sale, but overall, I do like this set. I'm torn on it. If it goes on for $250, i will buy it, but I probably will pass it at a retail. Then we've got the BTS Dynamite, this one is not hard to find. This one is not selling at all. I know a lot of people thought this would do good at the beginning. I do not get what people were where they thought it would be good. It's too niche. This set has not been able to sell. It is on sale right now for like 50 bucks. Absolutely passing that. And then the Nin Nintendo Entertainment System. I do like this set a lot personally, but for investing wise, I do not see this be going for a premium. I would need to pick this up for like 180 to make an investment definitely passing on this the lego ideas fender stratocaster i love this set it's been on sale for quite a while for 90 bucks when it does retire i think this will be a set that you can make 40 or 50 dollars on i do like this set but the the retirement date is that that's a big factor for me so this is in the maybe pile now on page two we got the holiday main street absolutely passing on this the luke skywalker land speeder this is i think a horrible investment i think the land speeder is just an ugly vehicle it's a giant flip-flop i know a lot of people have said it looks great when you actually build it but this set was not selling at all at my walmart's last year it was only selling when it hit like 120 dollars clearance so i think this was a giant mistake that lego made this set and i just absolutely passing and i think it's on the hard to find list because they've been intentionally trying to make it harder to get and then the razor crest absolutely passing on this you if you want to invest in five six hundred dollars in one set even five hundred because it's on sale i think this is a bad investment you should you should buy different sets like you know 10 different helmets and in, instead of one set you'll get a much better profit return if you buy a lot more other sets compared to the more expensive sets and then the globe i like the globe but i do not see a demand for this i think you'll lose money for it the chevrolet camaro z28 i think this is great set i think it's an amazing design build i love the colors that they chose but i would need to get this on sale for like 120 for me to purchase and i could maybe see the selling for 180 but overall i might pass on this set the hulkbuster absolutely passing this is not selling nobody will pay a premium for this set in retirement the back to the future time machine it, this one has been out for a while but i still think despite how long it's been out I think this will be a set that people pay maybe $50 to $75 premium in retirement. So I will buy a few of these. The Optimus Prime. I absolutely love this set. Everyone hates this set and they say it's a terrible build, but I love the display factor. I love Transformers. I think this is going to be a set kind of like how Voltron was. Voltron, a lot of people did not like that set. They passed it up and now it's kind of like a holy grail set. And I think optimus prime is going to be the same way where we see a decent profit with optimus prime he's been on sale for a little bit he's just not selling and it all depends on the future of what kind of other transformers we get if this you know if this might be the only transformer we get this set is going to do amazing in retirement so yeah i'm definitely buying this set the ghostbusters ecto-1 
I'm torn on this set because it's been out for a while. I love this set. I definitely... So originally, on a second year of retirement, I bought 10 of these, and I returned them, and I'm glad I did because it got extended another year. I went out and returned my 10, bought some Star Wars helmets. So I probably might buy one of these just in case, but overall, I would bet soon we're going to get a small Ecto-1, especially with the new movie coming out. So I might buy one, but overall, this might be a pass. It depends on the type of sale. The Adventures with Mario starter course, absolutely bad passing on this. Mario is a bad theme to invest in. The Wi Luigi starter course, passing on that. The Land Rover Classic Defender, definitely passing on this. I do not see this one selling for a premium. The NASA Space Shuttle Discovery, I love this set. It has been in stock at my Target forever and it's just not selling. So I definitely will be investing in this before it retires. Check out my NASA video that I did. NASA has a history of doing very, very well in LEGO, and I think this is a great display piece. It's not as strong as the Saturn rocket that they made, but I definitely love this set, and I do see probably a $50 to $60 profit with this set, even if I bought it at $200, which I'm definitely going to purchase. Then we got the Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition. Absolutely passing on that. Go with the smaller Hogwarts Express. But $500 for this is just absolutely insane. The Boutique Hotel. This one has definitely been hard to find. This one randomly shows up at my Walmart every so often. It's a rare occasion. So I at $230, I wish it was $200. But overall, city building, there's a lot of money. I could see this selling for $280, $300 down the line. Definitely buying this set. The, the Ninjago City Gardens. This one's unique. I probably would buy one. Although I probably need to get it on a sale. I know a lot of people really like this set. But I'm torn on it. So I'll throw it in the maybe. It depends on a sale. The 3-in-1 Magical Castle. Passing on this. The Loop Coaster. Definitely passing on that. Don't see the demand for it. Don't see, you know. Build, building an amusement park near town. Then yeah, okay. But the price is just way too high for me. The at, -AT Absolutely passing on this. This is a bread and butter set. They are absolutely going to keep making these sets over and over again. We got a smaller version, which I think is a far better investment to invest. Let's say this went on sale for 700. You might be able to get 100 or 200 dollars in retirement, but that's just too risky. Buy buy a ton of other sets for that money, and you'll get a far better return. The Daily Bugle, I love personally, and for investing, I think this fits into city building because we don't have a lot of skyscrapers. I think this set went on sale a long time ago, or last year, I want to say around Black Friday-ish. This one sold for, I think, $350 or $300. I definitely would buy it if it did get a decent sale. I like it. It comes with a lot of minifigures. This is definitely probably a part-out set, so really dependent on a sale. The Lamborghini, I love this set. It's phenomenal, but the price is just way too high. I would rather invest that. Let's say even if it went on sale for $400, maybe even $350, I would take that $350 and buy smaller $15 Speed Champions. Easily double my money with Speed Champions. I'm not a big fan of the larger sets like this, and it's Lamborghini, so you're paying a premium. I do not see this doing well in retirement. It might. There's a huge potential, but... Overall, definitely passing. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these sets. Do you like them? Do you like some of these? Are you avoiding them? Please comment down below. It definitely helps the channel and it helps the community. But yeah, some of these sets I really, really love. And a lot of them I just, I just do not want to invest in. And there's just bad investments like the R2-D2. You know, why would you invest in this one when you've got a $100 one that's coming out? with a rare and unique minifigure, it's, you know, it, you just have to look at it that way. But I appreciate you watching, but as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.